Okay, I'm going to ask uh, Jenna Wally and your parents to come forward. I'm going to try to get through uh, this one without getting teary. She swears I can't. Um, <laughs> but um, Jenna has been a First Baptist student since she was in the first grade. So she's been here a long time. Uh, Jenna is a fabulous student. She has a 5.15 GPA. Yeah. She is um, National Honor Society. She um, is just incredible in the classroom. But she's uh, also a three-sport athlete. Okay, Jenna plays volleyball, basketball, and then her love is softball. And uh, the coaches here, we wanted an athlete like this to play for us. And so, you know, at times it was, you know, coach, I'm going to Tennessee this weekend to uh, play softball. And I'm like, well, good luck, you know, because we play on Tuesday night, <laughs> you know, that kind of thing. But um, it was the sacrifice that uh, we wanted to make to be able to keep somebody like her uh, playing for us. Um, we, uh, Jenna has uh, been a pitcher for years, a softball pitcher for years. She uh, plays for one of the top teams in South Carolina, the Carolina Elite. Um, she played all over the Southeast and, um, you know, just had all kinds of college coaches calling. Um, and Jenna pitched for us in uh, eighth grade as an eighth grader on the varsity and had 91 strikeouts. Uh, so pretty impressive for an eighth grader on the mound against uh, um, older girls. And ninth grade, she had 103 strikeouts in just 11 games. Unfortunately, when she was a 10th grader, uh, we weren't able to field the team. And uh, I was a nervous wreck that uh, Jenna was going to go somewhere else because softball was her love. And she looked at me one day and she said, but I love my basketball team too. I'm, I'm staying here. I'll get what I, uh, where I need to get and still stay at First Baptist. And girl, if you didn't, I'm so proud of you. And it really meant the world to me that you stayed here and finished here. Um, it really did. Um, Jenna had all kinds of offers to play at the next level visited all over the place and then uh, decided that uh, Francis Marion was the uh, small kind of atmosphere that she had grown accustomed to all these years and she decided that she would play for Francis Marion. Um, at this time, Jenna, I'm going to uh, let you uh, say a few words and then uh, you will go ahead and sign. teachers, teammates, and coaches over the years for pushing me to grow in the classroom, on the field, or on the court. Thank you guys for making me a better student, player, and a person. To all my softball coaches over the years who cannot be here today, just know that I am forever grateful for everything you guys have done for me and how much you guys continue to have an impact on my life. Thank you, Coach Curtis, for being my first ever travel ball coach and for believing that my four and a half foot tall self can make and become something one day. Thank you for being my biggest cheerleader and for always making me choose to do what's best for me. Thank you, Coach Ben and Miss Leslie, for being my biggest advocates and for throwing me into the craziness of the recruiting process. There's no way that today would be possible without either of you. Coach Ben, thank you for teaching me how to fail wide open and for teaching me to be okay with failing. Miss Leslie, there are too many things I can say about how you helped me through this past few years, but thank you most for keeping Coach Ben in line. Thank you to the South Carolina League organization for giving me the opportunity to play softball with my best friends and for giving me the opportunity to continue to play in college. Thank you to Coach Redman, Coach Kevin, and Coach Singleton for putting up with me not speaking basketball. Coach Singleton, thank you for running, not walking with me through the recruiting process and for always being here to listen. Coach Saunders, thank you for being the assistant softball coach and for not letting my ego get too big by always reminding me that you can hit a home run off me. Coach Snyder, thank you for being scared to hit off me. It almost makes up for Coach Saunders bullying me. We give thank you to all my basketball buddies for putting up with my hard passes and for translating basketball into general words for Thank you to all my best friends for being my support system throughout everything I do and for always being able to make me laugh. I cannot wait to, wait to walk across.
across the stage and nailed most of you guys. Finally, thank you to my grandparents for taking me to school, practices, games, and camps. Thank you both for being my favorite breakfast dates and for knowing what is going on most of the time while watching me play. Mom and Dad, thank you for everything. There are a million things I could say about all the impacts you both have had on my life. Dad, thank you for showing me the game of softball and for showing me how far hard work would get me. Thank you for acting like my big brother most of the time and my dad some of the time. Mom, thank you for being my role model and my best friend through everything life throws at me. You've taught me how to be a better person, friend, teammate, daughter, granddaughter, and player. Thank you both for allowing me to chase after any dream that I have and for reminding me that you guys would support me no matter what. I'm so excited for the next four years of my life at Francis Mary University, but I cannot say that I will not miss my first Baptist family. One more big thank you to all of you guys here today. I love you all and go Patriots. Thank you.